John Kusiak is one of the foremost composers in the world of documentary film. He composes for and with local artists in and around the Boston area. We got a chance to sit down with the composer to discuss the recent success he's had with HBO's The Jinx, his work with Boston's documentary film community, and just how he manages to get the juices flowing in the creative process. Boston is really a, a strong um, place for documentary film because of, um, you know, Errol Morris, of course, um, but, you know, WGBH, there's Nova, American Experience, American Masters, a lot of that stuff gets produced right here. And so, and then beyond that, there's independent documentary work that is, you know, is going on. Um, I work closely with um, Andrew Willis, who is a local um, composer. He used to live in Arlington, but he no longer lives here. He lives in Medford, but that's pretty close. <laughs> and um, he and I have been working together since uh, 1999. He does his own work, and then we work on projects together. So we've done American Experiences um, as co-composers. You also collaborated with other composers on the Jinx. What was that like? Yes, that was tricky um, because the other composer uh, was in New York. That, as, as I just described with Andrew, we've, we've spent, um, I mean, that's like, uh, is that 16 years or something that we've been working together? So, you, you know, the longer that you work with someone, you can develop a working relationship. But this was being thrown right into someone right off the bat. So, I mean, that's a little, a little harder, but uh, overall, came together and we, I think, was successful. So to even begin this road to success, it all has to start somewhere. John now gives us an inside look at his process and just where he starts to come up with his compositions. Yeah, when you get started, it's usually a phone call. <laughs> and then, um, or, or even, you know, these days it's like an email or something, you know, and, um, but the process begins usually with documentary films, um, it can be early in the process, so people will contact me before they even have a rough cut. They might just have uh, scenes and maybe dailies, you know, f uh, that they've been shooting, and they'll show that to me and maybe discuss what they're thinking about for for the score. You know, the type of music. You know, it depends, of course, on the subject matter. Well, often, even if I have the f footage. Um, I'll just put it on, you know, on my screen and let it play mm -hmm. and I'll sit at the keyboard and just improvise almost um, unconsciously, just kind of letting it roll and um, seeing how I feel about it. And I'll just record um, everything that I do and, uh, you know, spend, spend several hours doing that and then come back later and listen to what I've done and see if any little piece sort of strikes me as having potential for development. 